I'm assuming this gets edited down to like, what, 30, oh 20 seconds or something? You got a lot of good shit. <laughs> no one makes you laugh like I do. Uh, headliner, showstopper, right. trendsetter. Chefs have told us Red Hook Tavern is one of the best restaurants in New York and the best burger. And it's this guy's, Billy Durney. Why did you open Red Hook Tavern? I got well known around the world for cooking barbecue. Our first restaurant we opened down the street 11 years ago. It's called Hometown. People always thought it was because it became my hometown, but really the actuality was that it became my grandmother's hometown in the early 1930s. I designed and opened this place again in their honor, but I also selfishly I wanted to show people I can, as a chef, that I can cook something different from wood-fired barbecue. I think I always wondered about what the old taverns would look like when they were growing up and where they would come to have a steak or a burger or you know, a great meal. Okay, so I was looking at what to order, but then I went to speak to Billy and I was like, can you just order for us? And he was like, I'll order for you. That could be a very good decision or a pretty poorly judged one. We do order in pints though, the other half brewing, man. This stuff. Two. Okay, these are the country ham croquettes and a rye bread crumb. Bread crumb. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the country ham croquettes first and foremost. Oh, yikes. It's the romaine wedge, buttermilk herb dressing, blue cheese, applewood smoked bacon. That is laughably amazing. <laughs> What's the best seller? The burger is the best seller. It took me over eight months to create the blend of the burger. Eight months? Eight months, yeah. What, what just constant like A hundred different variations of the burger, yeah. Fat content, dry aged beef content, what parts of the cow I wanted to use, 45 day dry aged beer strip is half the burger, so it's really funky and dry aged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other half is hanger steak. So what, what percentage is your fat content, do you think? I mean, it's at least 75, 25, if not 70, 30. It almost has this like blue cheesy quality to it because of that intense dry age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's definitely funky, but it's controlled funk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, right. This is the burger. Of all the burgers in New York, incredibly talented chefs have been like, hey, that Red Hook Tavern burger is fist in mouth awesome. Best burger. Red Hook Tavern. Yeah. Uh, Red Hook Tavern. If you want a burger where you can eat with your pinky up, Red Hook Tavern. They present it to you as well like that, like just to show you that beautiful molten cheese. Very high quality American beef. You can taste that little funk. It then just has this light, crusty pepper coating. Well, mate, I've probably got one each. Yeah. 25, 30% fat content, 45 day aged beef. Oh, yeah. Billy, I'm so glad we're here. I'm so glad we met you. You wonderful, talented, mad bastard. We use a fuckload of black pepper on the burger, but what it does is it really gets that sear locked in because we use a hot, hot, hot plancha um, or griddle to cook the burger on. At this point, we don't have a single table that doesn't at least get one, one burger. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the market, the trend has gone to smash, right? They've gone to thin patties, whereas you're like, no, I'm doing a big chunky yeah. boy. The, this burger was created paying homage to um, a steakhouse burger called Peter Luger. Peter Luger's, for me, is a very emotional place because I've been going there since I'm very young. It's like family when I walk in. So right, right, right. I didn't want to copy what they were doing, but I wanted to pay respect to it and the way it looked and appeared. You know, so. Oh man, right. It's the cavatelli, oxtail ragu, garlic breadcrumbs. What the fucking hell, man? So these is mussels, this wasn't a spicy tomato, and do your broth. The textures, the flavors, the spice. Oh, if Billy said to me tomorrow, hey Jesse, you wanna go, you wanna like tour the United States for me, just you and me for like three months, I'd be like, yeah, let's go now. Who's story? Who is story? What's this then? That's 96 Screaming Eagle. Is it? I swear to God. Holy shit. Good, I haven't tasted it yet. Fuck. That's a brand new guy. I guarantee that's no one, no other interview has had 96 Screaming Eagle. Yeah. High five through the camera. Uh, on camera. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Brooklyn loves London. Ah. <laughs>